Hello, I'm AB. I'm the creator of this fountains. Here we have our battery fountain with internal battery compartment. I have three different designs of battery fountains with internal battery compartment. By the way, every or each of our fountains can be used with an external battery. Means that the battery is outside of the fountain and not in a battery compartment inside of the fountain. As I just said, I have three different designs of uh, battery def uh, battery fountains with an internal battery compartment. This is one of it. It's a round one. This size is a small size with a battery compartment in the back. This battery compartment goes over the whole side. It's designed for horizontal batteries, so that you put the batteries in horizontally. So here on this side are different kinds of batteries we can use in this fountain. Starting from USB, this pile is USB, are USB batteries. The upper three are better ones. The lower two are GPs. And GPs, they uh, promise a lot, but uh, they don't hold what they promise. And here on this side is uh, D cells. This is a D cell, a D cell holder. You can load the D cell holder either with uh, alkaline or you can load it with uh, rechargeable nickel. Manganin or metal, nickel metal hydrate. It's uh, one of these, it's 10,000 milliamp hours, so it's quite a bit. So they last approximately three, three and a half days on a full load. With a D cell, you get out approximately five, six days and the USB batteries, depending on this Imuto, lasts or runs the fountain for continuously for five days. The smaller ones, this small anchor, runs it for three days, and the small ref power runs it for approximately three and a half, four days, three and a half days. So we have different adapters. A single adapter to connect the battery to the pump. Here is the pump. The pump has a connector. You see it goes around here. Pump comes with a switch. And here is the connector. It connects either to a single battery adapter or it connects to a to the D cell holder or it connects to a double USB battery connector and with the double connector you can add two batteries to it and with two batteries you have the double or the, the one time of both batteries. If you have the same type then it won double as long. So with two of this rough power you have uh, seven days. With two of these emutos you have ten days of continuously in uh, operation. So here on the other side here on the other side we have the filters. I offer two different types of filters. One type is the drink well, it's a drink well filter system with a drink well 360 cartridge inside.
it's the easiest way you just exchange the cartridge and put a new one in every two to three weeks and you are ready to go or the more economical way is you use our biofilter the biofilter has a sack with charcoal with loose charcoal you fill it in fold it no come on so then put the distance ring on top it holds the sarcoal sack the media back down in place and then screw the lid on top so this part here connects connects to the pump and all this stuff goes into the fountain. The pump has three suction cups. Make sure the suction cups are good attached to the bottom of to the floor. So then let's fit pump and filter inside and Attach. Let's go to the side. So. Good. Make sure your fingers are not wet, otherwise they slip at the at the tube. So. Let's have a look inside before we close it and fill the batteries inside. So you see pump and filter inside and you see the battery compartment back here. Let's use for demonstration the D30 cells. So let's put the battery. No, let's put it in so that you can see it. Connect. Fold. Cables. So and then you have here the switch. You see here is a indentation and the switch fits here into or behind this cover. The cover is designed so that your cat can't reach the cable and can't okay so now it's covered so your cat can't reach it can't uh, pull it out can't chew on it so it's safe this fountain also has a possibility to attach or to secure the lid. There are three holes, there are three cotter pins, stainless steel cotter pins, they are have, I bent them 
So there's a bit of a tension and you just fit them in. For demonstration I didn't put much tension on it but if your cat is playful then she might pull it out so I have an instruction or instruction is uh, delivered with a fountain so you can add more tension to this collar pin so that your cat isn't able to pull it out. So the lid is back on. Let's switch it on again. So, and now you have a nice full stream. So, here we have sieve covers and a pre filter. This one is a pre filter with a little tool to remove the foam insert, there's a little foam insert. Let's push this in. You hear how it uh, reduces the noise. Let's get it back out. You can hear the noise from the back flowing water falling back into the, into the bowl. With this one, with the pre-filter insert, you, the water flows differently and the noise is gone. So you have two different SIF covers, they are just for optic, one without a protection, one with a protection. If you put this one in, you can, you have a stainless steel pin similar to this one and underneath the lid you put the pin through this, through the SIF, through the mesh of the SIF and through this hole. and then it's attached and the cat can't pull it out. Or you can use just this one. This one is just for optic. So it's... So here we see the pin that stabilizes or that holds that holds the sieve. You see the sieve comes out here and we just put the pin through it. So let's find the other side. Good. So here you can see it. And now it's holding in place. If you have the the lid Securable lid in it, and you can see it down here. Same, okay. So now it's attached. So your cat can't remove it. So besides the batteries, you also can use the fountain with a power adapter, with a wall power adapter. This one is a power adapter with an adjustable uh, output. The output voltage can be adjusted from 3 to 12 volt, don't use 12 volt, till 7 and with a higher voltage you have a stronger stream. Let's demonstrate. We'll plug it in 
and let's get the battery out here first, at least the cable, so where's it? here's the connector, so it's still, no, come on, so it's still the D cell inside, we also can use here's the So USB battery, put the USB battery inside. Oh, this is one, it's better to use this angle adapter. So put it in, then you can use, so where is my, yeah, and then you can connect it to the USB battery or we connect it. Now we connect it now to the power wall power adapter. So let's switch it on. Let's switch the power on first. Good. So this is the lowest setting, the lowest setting of the power adapter. Now let's set it to a bit more. You see the stream. And let's switch it a bit more. Oops, there's air in it, still air in the filter. But with this high setting, the pump starts making a soft humming noise. It's why I don't like it. And you don't need it. It's just necessary that the water flows through the filter and recirculates. You don't have a powerful stream. And I guess your cat doesn't like it either. So let's go to the lowest stream or maybe a bit more. I prefer the lowest setting as possible. So it circles, so the water circulates through the filter, circulates through the whole system, and your cat will not be shooed away by the force of the water stream. So let's put the pre filter in. Make sure the pre-filter is always clean. Put the sieve cover in. Sieve cover is, as I said, just for optic. Good. And now you have the fountain running on with a wall power adapter. You have your switch where you can switch the fountain on and off. and it goes to the wall power adapter. We also offer extension cords, low voltage extension cords, six foot or you can order it online. There are lots of extension cords for low voltage, especially for security cameras. They have the same plug. It's a 5.5 by 2.1 plug, barrel plug, and these plugs are commonly used for low voltage. And so you can get it up to 100 feet, so you can put this thin cable somewhere behind your curtain and the wall or the baseboard and underneath everything, you can hide it. So you can use an outlet far from the fountain. Thank you.